Ramadan Mubarak, uh, brothers and sisters, I pray that you have a Ramadan that's filled with um, I guess spiritual happiness, joy and a connection with Allah at the end of the day. That That's what Ramadan is all about, for Allah to be pleased with us. Now this Ramadan will be different to the many, many others that we've had um, with the restrictions that are in place. It means that many of us can't go um, to the mosque to pray tarawih. We can't go to family members' places, let alone friends' places for iftar to have you know, dinner together. So we may feel a little bit lonely compared to other times. But um, it's really important that we change our mindset uh, and really see the positive in the situation. First and foremost, it's really important that we follow the rules around restrictions, that we abide by what is expected by us, which means that... Um, we do have follow, um, fulfill the restrictions and not socialize with people other than our family and not go for tarawih prayers. You know, all, all the details of these are available to us, but it's really important that we follow these rules and regulations because at the end of the day, if we cause even one person to um, get, you know, COVID because of our negligence and then, you know, that has implications like, you know, causes the death of someone, that's a huge accountability. Like we shouldn't undermine this and we shouldn't think it won't happen to me. Like we, it's really important that we follow the expectations, the rules and regulations around this. But that then leaves us, I guess, with this Ramadan, which is very uh, quiet and very isolated. But what's important is how we perceive this situation. You can either just think of it as a isolation or you can see it as a retreat. Now, retreats are seclusive. You are secluded. Um, you spend a lot of time connecting with Allah. So this Ramadan could very easily become an amazing uh, retreat for us. You know, our lives have slowed down, whether we like it or not, um, and maybe more for others compared to others, but our lives have slowed down. Um, this is something we can't ignore. And But with that slowing down, it gives us a chance to think and to connect with Allah more. It gives us a chance to read the Qur'an more than we would normally have. So let's see this as a chance to get closer to Allah, um, to slow our lives down so we can focus on things that we've always wanted to focus on. And you know what? I feel like we're going to end this Ramadan and there will be sadness about it in the fact that um, we've never been to the, uh, to the mosque. But there's going to be this sense of, wow, it was, it was different, but it was amazingly positive. Because with hardness, with hardship, Allah gives us ease. And if he's making this hard for us in the sense that you know, we can't connect with family and friends, he will make it easy for us in that he will allow us to connect with him in a much stronger way. And at the end of the day, that's what we want to do in Ramadan. So inshallah, may Allah enable us to achieve that. May he enable us to connect with him at a, a level that we never have been able to. And may he accept our worships. May he allow us to enable us to do all the worship that we do with ikhlas, with sincerity, and with ihsan, with spiritual excellence. Once again, Ramadan Mubarak, brothers and sisters, um, inshallah, I pray that it is um, filled with blessings and goodness for you.